What's up, YouTube? I'm Hakeem Ingleson, and today I'm gonna be showing you my 2020 gun collection. Um, I've done a few videos, but I've never done a whole gun collection, so I figured before the year ends, I'll make sure I do my 2020 gun collection uh, and show you the guns that I'm ending the year off with. So I'm gonna start with the handguns, the pistols first, and I'm gonna save, you know, get to the, uh, the rifles, and I'm gonna make sure I save the the, the best for last, my favorite uh, for last, right? So first um, handgun is gonna be the P365. Just to let you know, it's clear, P365. So if you've seen um, any of my other videos, uh, you've seen I did a review on this. Uh, I think, you know, this is definitely one of my favorite handguns. I like it a lot. Uh, just because it's so small, you know, I like the ones that you can, you know, it's easy to conceal. So if I don't feel like doing too much, I'll make sure that I carry this gun. Um, you know, just easy to conceal. I, you, you know, you can't beat it. So I like this gun a lot. The next one. Clear is the Glock 19. All right. So also, if you've seen my previous videos, you know, uh, I did a video on this gun, uh, the Glock 19 MOS version with the optic, red dot optic on the back. You can see it a little bit. I don't know if it's, uh, it's showing in the camera, but I got the TLR-8. TLR-8AG. Um, so the G on it stands for green. Got the green. Um, Got the light, comes with the strobe, um, you know, Glock 19. I got the Talon grips on here, Pro grips. Uh, it's definitely, um, you know, definitely good. Uh, someone was, I heard someone say if, if your hand was wet or something like that for whatever reason, uh, blood, whatever the case is, you know, you're gonna be able to get a better uh, uh, purchase on it, right? So the Glock 19, I just feel like it's the perfect gun. It just fits perfect. Uh, but my EDC Glock 19. The next one I got, um, I talked about it a little bit in one of my videos, but I don't think I put it on here, is the Glock 30. Glock 30. 45 auto, you know, just simple, plain, basic Glock 30. Uh, but I love this gun too. This was actually one of my first guns. Uh, well, it's the gun I had the longest, really, that I kept the longest. So I used to buy them and sell them, buy them and sell them. Um, so now, man, I just, you know, I, I don't really sell guns. So once I buy them, I, I got it for the long haul, right? So this one has the TLR-8 on it as well, but the buttons are a little different. You gotta push them in. Instead of the 8G, you gotta, the flex one you just push on the back is a lot better. Uh, but this one, got the light on it. Does the same thing, strobe mode. And it also has, this one is in red, right? So I got this one in red. Uh, it's a lot beefier. Uh, it's, a, it's a little smaller than the Glock 19, uh, but it's a lot more brolic. And I think this one holds uh, nine plus one. Um, so less rounds, but you got that 45 round. So I definitely like carrying a big round. Uh, but you know, after a while, I just figure, shit, I mean, I don't mind carrying 15 nine millimeters, you know, versus the 45. Um, I, I'm cool with nine, you know. Uh, but I definitely like having the 45s, you know, the big bullets. But Glock 30, I like this one, definitely like this one. So uh, the last handgun that I have um, is this one. This one that I got in the shoulder, shoulder holster, right? And this is the SIG P226, right? Has the uh, Navy SEAL emblem on there, if you can see it. This is definitely one of my favorite guns. Um, it's just, you know, it just feels like a tank, man. This joint, you know, is metal. I mean, I love the Glocks, but it's just something about these metal guns. Like it just feels, you know, more sturdy. And also, I mean, so you got the 
um, the slide release right here, right? And then the, another reason why I love this gun so much is because you got the, um, the hammer on it, you know? You got the hammer. I love um, revolver, so it's just, you know, that hammer is awesome. And then it got the decock on it, so you can decock it. Um, but you know, if you don't want to want that on the first shot, if you don't want that heavy uh, trigger pull, just cock the uh, hammer back and light trigger pull, you know, just like a revolver. So I love this gun. This is a full duty size gun. Uh, it's, you know, not really nothing I would carry around. I mean, unless, so that's the reason why I got the holster. In the winter time, uh, I mean, I got this uh, shoulder holster in the winter time, I can, uh, you know, put it in this shoulder holster. You got a coat on or something like that. It's definitely comfortable. I never even noticed it's here. It's kind of like a, a book bag, you know what I mean? I don't really notice it. But the SIG P226, I love that gun. So that's it for the handguns. Um, so next, which is considered uh, a pistol, but you know what I mean? I don't, you know, a lot bigger pistol, right? Is the Mini Draco. So I got the mini Draco um, clear. So for those of y'all that seen um, my first video, I did a comparison video on this one. I definitely like it. I mean, you can't go wrong with the with the Draco. Uh, I just had to get it, man. I just feel like it's more of a, um, I don't know. It's just cool, you know? <laughs> I wanted to get the Draco. Um, but I used to have a, a full, full length, uh, I think, it, I believe it was Sentry Arms AK. Um, that was nice. I definitely want to get a full size AK rifle, but I got my Draco, 76 by 39. So next is the um, Galil. This is the Galil, right? Uh, and this is the one that I did the uh, comparison video on uh, with the, the Draco. So they are, you know, they're similar size. Um, this one's a lot more heavy. Uh, I like this one better. I think it's just, you know, a lot better quality made by IWI uh, Israeli, um, made in Israel, I believe. Um, yeah, IWI is Israel, uh, 7.62 by 3.9. So it's not really an AK, it is a Galil. Uh, it's supposed to be the new and improved uh, AK, right? Um, so you got the, the charging handle on the left side. First of all, clear, nothing in there, right? Um, and so the, they have a, a, a 5.56 version of this that actually locks back because this, this magazine is, is empty. There's nothing in there. Uh, they, the the 5.56 one locks back, but the 7.62, um, it won't lock back. So just like an AK, right? Um, but so they got the um, SB tactical brace on the back of it. So you can push this down, fold it. <sighs> push it down, fold it. Got the little backpack gun. I definitely like this one. Uh, I put the little angle grip on the bottom of it. So that is the Galil Ace. 7.62 version. Um, next gun I have is my Sentry Arms AR-15. Um, take this out because that got rounds in it. Clear. So this is definitely one of my favorites, man. Um, just, just because you know, uh, I was in the military, so I'm used to the, you know, the platform. This is just the M4 uh, edition, really. Got the, the front iron sights on it. So this is no different than I had in Afghanistan, right? Same thing, um, pretty much, without the without the fun switch. Uh, so yeah, I got this little cheap optic on it right now, uh, but I'm definitely, I, I, I plan on getting a better uh, AR. <laughs> And I want to put the um, the ACOG on it. Probably not on this one, but when I get a good one, I'll probably get a Daniel Defense or something like that, AR-15. Um, you know, 
But I definitely like this. I mean, I just love the platform. It's just what I'm familiar with. Uh, so this one has the uh, barrel shroud, I believe it's called. So I never heard of these before I got this one, uh, barrel shroud. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, is this a silencer? What the, what the hell, right? I thought it was a suppressor. The guy sold it to me like that. I didn't know, right? But so I did my research and it is a uh, barrel shroud, I believe it's called. Um, so it screws off really kind of just like a, a silencer. Screw it off. You got the threaded barrel right there on the end. Um, and it's just hollow inside. Um, so it's cool. As to the aesthetics, I guess, you know, uh, I definitely like it though. Got that, it looked like it's a can on there, uh, but I definitely plan on getting a can though. I mean, I got the threaded barrel. Um, so, you know, you might as well. So uh, that's my AR-15. And so last but not least, this is my favorite um, out of all the ones that, you know, I got uh, when I got this one, man, I was, I was hyped. I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I need that one. So this one is my home defense weapon. Uh, this is my favorite. So my favorite gun is the DD M4 PDW 300 blackout, right? So it just looks like a, a baby uh, 300 DDM4. So it just looks like a baby uh, AR-15, really. But it's in 300 blackout, so I definitely plan on getting the um, the can on this one. Uh, and this one ha also has the. Oh no, it's not a. It's not SB. I was about to say SB Tactical, but it's the um, Maximum. Maxim, Maxim, um, PDW brace, I think it's called. Maximum, Maxim Defense. So it's pretty nice. Um, so this one, you can bring it back. Bring it all the way in. So it's like three settings, one in the middle, one in, one all the way out, right? But, you know, I just like this one because it's such a small package, you know? Um, so I got the um, Hollison sight on it, red dot sight. I like the charging handle on this, both sides. Um, you know, this one's awesome, man. So I probably, uh, I probably put a, end up putting the light on it. And that's about it. I'll probably put the light, the can, and this is the one I'll keep beside the bed, man. Uh, but 300 blackout and also another reason why I, why I chose this one for uh, my home defense is that you know if I could put the can on here right if I put the can on here then um, if for whatever reason I do have to use it in a home defense situation you know uh, I want it to be as quiet as possible I don't want to be ringing my ears off if I don't have to right um, so yeah I mean you know, this is my baby right here, man. Uh, you know, it's just so small. But yeah, so this is my favorite one. Um, and that is my gun collection. So if you haven't subscribed, uh, you know, stay in tune. I'll definitely be doing more videos. Um, and you know, uh, I'll keep you updated on what guns I got. So uh, make sure you like, comment if you like the video. Uh, and subscribe to the channel.